Uh, my name is Ewa Jankowska. I work in cardiology department in Wrocław, Poland. I'm also representing heart failure specialist of tomorrow and cardiologist of tomorrow. Today I have the great pleasure to interview Dr. Maria Galan mm -hmm. from Barcelona. Uh, she has already presented an exciting poster on lysy oxidase in cardiovascular setting. Uh, Maria, tell me, uh, what is your poster about? My poster is about a, a, um, an enzyme which is called lysyl oxidase, mm -hmm. which is pretty important in the cross-linking of collagen and elastin fibers in, in, the, in the heart. Because uh, as we know, uh, myocardial stiffening is related with myocardial fibrosis. And this process is very important to, in the progression to hair failure. So this enzyme is critical in the, in the fibrosis, in the fibrosis of the heart. And that's why we think it's a very important target, a future target, uh, for a heart failure and heart hypertrophy treatment. I think it's quite interesting because as far as I know, mm -hmm. uh, this enzyme has been involved in the, uh, into the other pathomechanisms. Uh, not just like cardiovascular, cancer, like yeah, cancer, metastatic cancer. cancer. You are right. So your cancer. approach is quite novel. Yes, yes, because uh, our model is a, is a transgenic mouse, which is overexpressed in lysyl mm -hmm. oxidase, in, vascular, in cardiovascular mm -hmm. system, in heart, in kidney, in aorta. In and your study was done in? In heart. Okay. The study was focused on heart, but we also ran other studies in vessels like aorta. And what, what was the major result? The major result is that the heart function in these mice after angiotensin II infusion as a hypertrophy model, uh, so the overexpression of lysyl oxidase is impairing the ejection fraction, the fractional shortening, it's increasing the hypertrophy of the heart. And this, we, ha we have seen that this, is, uh, this happens uh, through uh, several mechanisms. Uh, not only because a uh, higher collagen deposition in the heart of these transgenic mice, but also because a higher cross-linking of the collagen, mm -hmm. because a higher uh, inflammatory response in these hearts, and also an increase in oxidative stress. So there's a combination of factors. It's very interesting. Yeah. Uh, are there any clinical data in this field? No. no. Well, there are clinical data, but just with the um, heart samples from patients, with the suffer, who suffered from um, hypertensive cardiomyopathy, and they mm -hmm. had the lysyl oxidase increased in the in the tissue. I mean, the, the cell. But the, as a biomarker, is uh, it was it was thought to be a good biomarker in in plasma from patients. But there are not ELISA kits. There are mm. no good ELISA kits to detect the lysyl oxidase. In so not easy to so translate it's not, it's into not, clinical yeah, practice for diagnostic I mean, purposes. Yeah, but uh, for sure, uh, some companies are developing yeah. uh, ELISA and kit. And what about the treatment? Do you think that, because as I understand, well, lysyl oxidase is upregulated yeah. in hypertrophy. Mm -hmm. Can it I mean, be downregulated due to some other drugs? Not downregulated. I think it's easier than that because it's an enzyme. So we have uh, this inhibitor, but the, it's not a specific inhibitor. Mm -hmm. It's called beta aminopropionitril, mm -hmm. which is uh, inhibiting uh, the, the lysyl oxidase activity. Mm -hmm. But it's also inhibiting other uh, lux likes uh, family mm -hmm. proteins. So that's why it's not a specific. And it's, uh, it has also toxicity in some animal models. So that's why it's the, it's the only inhibitor that we have right now effective to Mm -hmm. down regulate the down the, the mm -hmm. activity of the enzyme but uh, not the that regulation of the enzyme so uh, maybe in the, the future some other yeah maybe in the future companies yeah, will we, develop uh, some drugs. as a target is mm -hmm. a perfect target because uh, it's secreted in, in the into extracellular space you can detect it in mm -hmm. plasma with future ELISA kits and if you find a you know a chemical that can inhibit its mm -hmm. uh, specifically its activity, mm -hmm. its somatic activity. I mean, you can target heart fibrosis and so heart failure and other complications. Interesting yeah. story. Yeah. So, in conclusion, uh, the study of Dr. Galan has demonstrated that lysyl oxidase is upregulated in hearts with hypertrophy and is associated with unfavorable remodeling, inflammation, oxidative stress. Uh, until now, there is no clinical data in this field, but hopefully this enzyme may be another 
potential therapeutic target for future therapies, which definitely our patients need. Thank you very much.